Justice for Ty and Nichols. Justice for Ty and Nichols. Can you hear the voice box thing? Oh, it's trivia time.
Welcome to Trivial Pursuit Classic, the trivia game that started it all. Get us rolling, Green. You got four. What's it going to be? Our A&E expert, Whoopi Goldberg. What cartoonist Whoopi is responsible Goldberg. for Fox's animated series Futurama, featuring a morally... Welcome to Trivial Pursuit Classic, the trivia game that started it all. You're up first, Orange. Four it is. Okay, now, which one do you want? Our science guy, Bill Nye. What company announced plans in 2003 to release an internet-enabled portable toilet called the iLoo before backing down? Ouch, no. you're up, Blue. All right, five, six spaces to choose from. Up to you. Brooke Burke will read the questions in People and Places. What town gives thirsty tourists a chance to suck back a sarsaparilla and ogle the can-can dancers at the restored Long Branch Saloon? That's it. Blue, still your turn. Ride two. What's it going to be? For people and places. What tiny Texas town, famed for its St. Patrick's Day bash, boasts a hunk of the Blarney Stone? Oh no, sorry. Your turn, Pink. You got four. Six spaces to choose from. Up to you. Terry Bradshaw will read Sports and Leisure. Which group has copped the most best in show trophies at the Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show? Oh no, sorry. Brown, you're next. Five, six spaces to choose from. Up to you. Mr. John Cleese will read the history questions. What U.S. state boasts the farthest west Johnny Appleseed traveled in his seed planting sojourns? Correct. Johnny himself is planted in Fort Wayne, Indiana, near where he died in 1845. Brown, the board is still yours. Okay, two, three choices. What will it be? For history. What West Coast city passed a handgun ban in 1982, only to see it declared unconstitutional? That's right. You still have control of the board. Two, three choices. What will it be? History. What presidential hopeful's Dunkin' Donuts contract stipulated that he received 60 freebies per week? No. 
no. Go for it, green. Six spaces to choose from. Up to you. Sports and leisure. Who was honored to have his number 33 jersey hung from the rafters at Madison Square Garden? Sorry. Okay, yellow. One. Six spaces to choose from. Up to you. Introducing Whoopi Goldberg. What classic opera inspired the Broadway hit musical Rent? Correct. You get another roll, Yellow. And you got five. Where are you going? Arts and Entertainment. What Letterman segment is inspired, according to Dave, by the runaway British hit? Is it buoyant? That's it. Alan Coulter names the object, and Dave and Paul hazard a guess whether it will float, at which point it is lowered into a water-filled glass tub. Why? Just because. You get another roll, Yellow. It's a six. What's it gonna be? Sports and leisure. What city named Hiram Bithorm Stadium after its first native son to play in baseball's big leagues? Uh-oh, that's orange. Let's do it. One. Pick either one. So, for arts and entertainment. Who prepared for his title role in a 2003 film by hanging out in a rat trailer with his co-stars? Oh no, sorry. Blue, your turn. Two, three choices. What will it be? Introducing John Ratzenberger. What Cleveland Plain Dealer sports writer got a not surprising mention in an award ceremony written into Everybody Loves Raymond? Sorry, no. Pink, let's go. Six. You can go to seven different spaces. Pick one. So, for arts and entertainment. What movie gave Billy Crudup a chance to deliver the line Robert Plant famously blathered from an L.A. balcony? I am a golden god. That's it. Billy's golden scream is a tribute to Robert Plant from his Led Zeppelin days. Robert's, not Billy's. Billy was never in Led Zeppelin. Okay. You still have control of the board, Pink. Four, up to you, say where. For history, wedge time. What animals were so numerous and loud along the Yellowstone River that the Lewis and Clark expedition had difficulty sleeping? Sorry, no. Over to you, Brown. You got a five. Which direction will it be? People and places. What Asian discipline has a name that translates literally as wind and water?
Yes! You're still up. Three. Which direction will it be? So, for sports and leisure, wedge time. What famously inept Olympian said of his last place performances, the most important thing was to survive. Sorry, no. Go for it, Green. All right, five. You need to pick a space. For people and places. What wine grown on the Transylvanian Plateau is hyped as the taste of immortality? No. Okay, yellow. It's a six. You have four options here. Choose one. History. Who was the first US vice president married to a certified deadhead? Uh-oh. All right, let's do it. You got a five. You can go to seven different spaces. Pick one. Roll again. One. You have a couple of choices here. Sports and leisure. What was named the official breakfast cereal of the NHL in 2003? That's it. The Kellogg's deal with the NHL gave Tony the Tiger a chance to be depicted as a hockey goalie on cereal boxes. Roll again. Four, three choices. What will it be? For science and nature. What fellow sea creatures do boxer crabs carry around in each pincer to help ward off predators? You got it. Float like an octopus, sting like an anemone. Orange, you're still up. One. Pick either one. History. What 1998 hurricane killed 10,000 in Central America, making it the Western Hemisphere's deadliest of the 20th century? Uh-oh. You're up, Blue. All right, five. You have four options here. Choose one. Roll again. Three. Three choices. What will it be? Roll again. Two it is. You have a couple of choices here. So, for sports and leisure, wedge question. What novel item did dim-witted baseball fans, forgetting how easy it could be traced back to the thrower, start chucking at fielders in 2003? Sorry, no. Your turn, Pink. You got one. Three choices. What will it be? For science and nature. How many of every five people struck by lightning die immediately? Oh, no. Sorry. Over to you, Brown. That's one. Which direction will it be? Wild card. 
What are the Oscars of the Internet, awarded to cool websites by the International Academy of Digital Arts and Sciences? Uh-oh. Off you go, Green. Six. Which direction will it be? Roll again. And three. Three choices. What will it be? So, for sports and leisure, who is the first LPGA golfer in 34 years to win 10 tournaments in one season in 2002? You got it. Sora Stam playing 12. Keep it going, Green. You're still up. And three. Okay, now, which one do you want? For people and places. What cartographically challenged U.S. state has 91 different bodies of water called Long Lake? Good try, but in yellow's next. Right, too. Pick a space. Roll again. Looks like a six. Okay, now, which one do you want? People and places. What's the preferred term for a resident of Tobago? Uh-oh. You're up next, Orange. And three. Pick either one. People and places. Wedge time. What body of water is home to the ABC Islands? Ouch, no. Blue, your turn. Five, three choices. What will it be? Rolling. <laughs> it's three, three choices. What will it be? Oh, jeez. Shaggy. What form of capital punishment was not outlawed in France until 1977? Uh-oh. You're next, Pink. Looks like a three to me. You need to pick a space. For people and places. What broadcast giant occupies an imposing Manhattan skyscraper known as Black Rock? Uh-oh. Brown your turn. All right. Five. Three choices. What will it be? For science and nature. What makes an angulophobe anxious? Sorry. Off you go, Green. You got a five. Decide which space will it be. So, for sports and leisure. What Olympic sprinter finished third in a 1998 race against two horses and a stock car? Oh, no. Sorry. Yellow's next. 
You got a five. You have four options here. Choose one. Another try. Okay, two. Okay, now, which one do you want? History or the wedge. What enticement did the Hong Kong government offer voters in 1998? That gives you the yellow super job. You get another roll, yellow. Six, up to you, say where. People and places. What nation is home to, unknown to no one, its first English language boy band? You're up next, Orange. Three, which direction will it be? So, for sports and leisure. What NHL team plays home games in Ottawa? Way to go. Ottawa is the capital city of Canada. Roll again, still your turn. There's a four. Where are you going? For science and nature, wedge time. How many tons would a teaspoon of a neutron star weigh? You've got your brown. Keep on rolling. It's one, three choices. What will it be? History. Who amused adoring crowds in 2000 by noting about the US elections, never have we faced two contenders who were so boring and insipid. Uh-oh, that's not blue, it's your move. Looks like a six. Three choices. What will it be? For people and places. Wedge time. What insect is most often squeezed to produce a substitute for lemon juice in Thai recipes? Uh-oh. That's not it. Let's go, Pink. Looks like a four. Three choices. What will it be? Pick the category you'd like to go with. For science and nature. What were Apollo 11 astronaut Neil Armstrong's first words after landing on the moon? Oh no. Over to you, Brown. It's a six. You have four options here. Choose one. Another try. Five. Three choices. What will it be? For science and nature. For the wedge. What was the first iodine extracted from? You're looking at a brand new brown wedge. Brown, the board is still yours. Two. Okay, now, which one do you want? Roll again. And you got five. Three choices. What will it be? For people and places. For the wedge. What activity was accidentally outlawed in the Iowa governor's mansion in 1998? Well done, the blue wedge. Brown, the board is still yours. Four. 
four. Three choices. What will it be? Science and nature. What kind of celestial bodies have been named Anne Frank, Zappa Frank, and Dr. Watson? That's it. The astronomer who discovers an asteroid can propose a name for it, which must be approved by the Astronomical Union's Small Body Names Committee. Let me tell you, that is a party. Keep on rolling. You got four. Three choices. What will it be? For people and places. What city boasts Little Brewster Island with the only U.S. lighthouse still switched on and off by hand? No. Your move, Green. Five. Three choices. What will it be? So, for arts and entertainment. What aging band set out on its 40 Licks World Tour in 2002? Sorry. Yellow's next. It's a six. Three choices. What will it be? Another try. It's one. Okay, now, which one do you want? Wild card. What nation originated French fries that U.S. congressional eateries were obliged to rename Freedom Fries in a fit of anti-French fervor? Absolutely. French toast, which some gastronomic historians attribute to tavern owner Joseph French in 18th century Albany, was also transformed into freedom toast. Still your move, player. Five, three choices. What will it be? So, for arts and entertainment. What NBC employee sat in Jay Leno's Tonight Show chair for a day for a May 2003 rating stunt? Ouch, no. Next, Orange. Six, three choices. What will it be? For people and places. And another shot at the wedge. Which continent contains Timbuktu? The blue wedge is all yours. Orange, you're still up. That's a one. Three choices. What will it be? Arts and entertainment. Which former Batman plays the voice of God in 1998's animated Exodus story, The Prince of Egypt? Sorry, no. You're up, Blue. Three. Three choices. What will it be? So, for sports and leisure. What sport was the first to merge North and South Korean athletes together on the same team under a common unification flag? No. Okay, Pink, you're up. It's a two. Pick a space. So, for arts and entertainment. What sitcom character referred to menopause as mental pause? Oh no! Brown, you're up! Five. Decide which space will it be. Roll again. Two. Pick either one. For wild card. Wedge question. What did Tazirin Gayalzin, grandson of a Sherpa who toiled on Hillary's epic climb, announce he was opening at Mount Everest Space Camp in 2003?
Congratulations, orange is yours. Keep going, you get another turn. Two it is, three choices, what will it be? Roll again. Three, three choices, what will it be? Roll again. Looks like a six, which direction will it be? So, for arts and entertainment, what movie required Robert Downey Jr. to learn two new accents and play tennis left-handed? Nicely done. Downey took tennis lessons for months, playing as righty before learning that Charlie Chaplin played as a lefty. Ah, uh, research. Still your move, player. You got four. Six spaces to choose from. Up to you. History for the wedge. Who shook 3,609 hands on August the 22nd, 1998, in an attempt to set the world record for political handshaking? No. Take it away, Green. Looks like a four. Three choices. What will it be? So, for sports and leisure. What do the rowdy fans of golfer Fred Funk call themselves? There are just two requirements for Funk Punk membership. The ability to consume large amounts of alcohol and the ability to go no sleep for four days. Keep it going, Green. You're still up. Six. You have four options here. Choose one. Roll again. Six, you have four options here. Choose one. So, for sports and leisure. Who is the first NBA Rookie of the Year never to have played college ball? Ouch, no. Okay, yellow. All right, five. You need to pick a space. Roll again. One, you need to pick a space. For wild card. Who was pulled from Quaker Oats Promotions in 1989 after the Society of Friends found his violent behavior contrary to their beliefs? No. You're up next, Orange. Four it is. Three choices. What will it be? Another try. One. You have a couple of choices here. So, for sports and leisure, what was the first Asian country in 36 years to advance to the quarterfinals of Soccer's World Cup in 2002? That's it. Previously, the last Asian nation to make it that far was... Orange, you're still up. Looks like a three to me. Three choices. What will it be? Roll again. Two. What'll it be? 
for Wildcard for the Wedge. What multi-platinum rock album is reported to provide an eerily appropriate substitute soundtrack to The Wizard of Oz? Congratulations, Orange is yours. Orange, you're still up. That's one. Three choices. What will it be? So, for sports and leisure. What 2002 Grand Slam tennis event was the first to require photo ID tags on its bomb sniffing dogs? Nicely done. You get to roll again. That's one. Where are you going? For wild card. What future cartoonist had a gun pointed in his face twice while toiling as a bank teller? That's it. This experience has not yet inspired a regular character named Gunbert. You get another roll. One, which direction will it be? Sports and leisure. What wise-cracking racetrack legend trained three Kentucky Derby winners from 1997 through 2002? Uh-oh, that's blue, it's your move. Looks like a six. Where are you going? Roll again. There's a four. Okay, now, which one do you want? Roll again. Six. You have four options here. Choose one. People and places. What Mississippi River state do the residents of Greasy Corner, Turkey Scratch, and Smackover call home? Sorry. Pink, let's go. Four. What'll it be? History. And another shot at the wedge. What unsuccessful U.S. presidential candidate bought Monica Lewinsky's apartment at the Watergate? There you go, the yellow wedge. Keep it going. And you got five. Pick a space. Wild card. Who closed out the millennium with I'm a hit to CD entitled Abba Pater? Good try, but in brown, you're up. There's a four. You need to pick a space. Wild card. What both alleviates tension and causes it, according to Woody Allen? Uh-oh. Off you go, Green. It's a six. You have four options here. Choose one. History. How many years were East and West Berlin divided? Uh-oh. Okay, yellow. It's a two. What's it gonna be? Roll again. 
You got one. You need to pick a space. Arts and entertainment. Who admits to getting book writing help from ferrets named Boa, Burgeon, Chloe, Ernest, Mistenget, Stilton, Vincent, and Zaza? Good try, but incorrect. Next orange. Two, you need to pick a space. Arts and entertainment. What troubled town is the setting for TV's All My Children? Absolutely. Keep going. You get another turn. And three. Okay, now, which one do you want? For science and nature. What kind of insect did a adoring entomologist name Strigophilus Gary Larsoni after the Far Side comic artist? Uh oh. You're up, Blue. One. Pick either one. Roll again. Six. You have four options here. Choose one. For science and nature. What kind of mammal was Cumulina, who had 60 adult clones by the end of 1998? Uh-oh. Let's go, Pink. There's a four. Pick a space. For wild card. What athlete got the boot from his court-ordered drug treatment program in 2002 in part for bartering his memorabilia for cigarettes? Correct. Not completing the program meant Strawberry spent the next 11 months in prison. Your turn again. It's three. Pick either one. For science and nature, wedge question. How many out of every 10 genes governing human sense of smell were discovered in 1998 to be defective due to mutations? Good try, but Brown, you're up. Five, which direction will it be? Roll again. It's a two. What's it going to be? Arts and entertainment for the wedge. What's it called? Popularize the expressions regifter and sponge worthy. Good try, but your move, Green. That's a one. What's it going to be? Science and Nature. What was the first credit card brand to add laser holograms to its cards to foil counterfeiters? Oh, I thought they just looked cool. Oh, man. I'm going to get a credit card someday. Nicely done. Your turn again. And 
you got five. You have four options here. Choose one. Arts and Entertainment. Which star of The Matrix was named after a tune by The Hollies? Yes! Coincidentally, in 1993, Moss starred as Liz Teal in a short-lived TV series called Matrix. Keep it going, Green. You're still up. It's one. Okay, now, which one do you want? For people and places. For the wedge. What U.S. metropolis do CB fans know as Music City? You won the blue wedge. Keep it going, Green. You're still up. One, three choices. What will it be? So, for arts and entertainment. What did Jerry and Kramer accidentally drop into a patient undergoing surgery on Seinfeld? Ouch, no. Okay, yellow. You got four. What's it going to be? For history. What old name did Worldcon return to in a 2003 effort to rise above the taint of scandal? Way to go. The headquarters also packed up and moved to Ashburn, Virginia. You get another roll, Yellow. Looks like a four. You can go to seven different spaces. Pick one. So, for arts and entertainment. What Pat Benatar tune followed Video Killed the Radio Star as the second video ever aired on MTV? Right you are. Your turn again. Three. Three choices. What will it be? Roll again. Two. You have a couple of choices here. People and places. Wedge time. What island was the only territory to withdraw from the European Union in 1985? You won the blue wedge. Roll again, still your turn. You got a five, what'll it be? Roll again. Two it is, pick either one. Wild card, wedge time. What color were Levi's first pair of jeans? Ouch, no orange, let's do it. Looks like a six, you need to pick a space. For wild card. What unusual beer ingredient can be found in Kurt Vonnegut's Mile High Malt? Good try, but incorrect. Over to you, Blue. Four. Three choices. What will it be? So, for sports and leisure, and another shot at the wedge. What SEC school fired new head coach Mike Price after a Pensacola stripper ordered $1,000 of room service from his hotel room? The green wedge. Excellent. Blue, still your turn. You got a five. Three choices. What will it be? Another try. One. You have a couple of choices here. So, for arts and entertainment. Which Beatle concluded the band's final live performance by quipping, I hope we passed the audition.
Nicely done. Lennon's words appear at the end of Let It Be, the band. Keep it going, you're still up. It's three, you have a couple of choices here. For science and nature, or the wedge. What was the American Kennel Club's most popular breed in 1996? Uh-oh. Your next pink. Five. Three choices. What will it be? Sports and leisure. How many minutes can an international table tennis game last before the umpire speeds it up by invoking the expedite system? Ouch, no. Over to you, Brown. That's a one. What'll it be? People and places. Who's entombed in white marble at the center of Venice's Grand Basilica in the Piazza San Marco? Ouch, no. Go for it, Green. Two, pick a space. For history. Which war did U.S. Army soldiers stand the worst chance of surviving? Nicely done. 18 out of every 1,000 combatants died during the Civil War. Keep it going, you're still up. Three, decide which space will it be? Sports and leisure. What name did Pittsburgh State come up with for the mate of its mascot, Gus Gorilla? Sorry, no. Yellow, it's your turn. It's a two. What'll it be? Roll again. Four. Three choices. What will it be? Science and nature. What name do theoretical physicists give to the particles that might carry gravity? You got it. You're still up. You got a five. Three choices. What will it be? Wild card. What small objects did Garth Goldstein and John Pollock fashion into the two-ton boat they sailed 165 miles down Portugal's Douro River? Good try, but ready to roll, Orange? That's one. Three choices. What will it be? So, for sports and leisure. What NBA team signed Kentucky coach Rick Patino for $70 million a week after he said, there's no monetary amount that can get me to leave? Sorry, no. Over to you, Blue. Looks like a six. Three choices. What will it be? Arts and entertainment. What movie musical did critic Pauline Kael call the sugar-coated lie that people seem to want to eat? Uh-oh, that's not it. Your next pick. Four it is. Six spaces to choose from. Up to you. For history. What Jewish holiday celebrates the rededication of a temple that had been defiled by the Syrians?
Good try, but in... Over to you, Brown. Four it is. Decide which space will it be. Roll again. Six. You have four options here. Choose one. For people and places. What Great Plains State and site of the first Arbor Day observance was once known as the Tree Planter State? No. Off you go, Green. One. Which direction will it be? For Wild Card, Wedge Time. Who got the most media attention for her flatter bust and thicker waist in 1997? You win the orange wedge. Roll again, still your turn. Four, three choices. What will you People and places. What 50s musical was the inspiration for Mason City, Iowa's commemorative town square? My ding! Ouch, no. Your turn, Yellow. Six, what's it gonna be? For science and nature, what malady did ancient Welsh healers treat by wrapping the neck with red wool or flannel and with a layer of thinly sliced bacon? Sorry, no. You're up next, Orange. One, you have a couple of choices here. Science and nature. What does a bird do with its syrinx? I said syrinx. Nicely done. Orange, you're still up. You got a five. You need to pick a space. So, for arts and entertainment. What girl group's summer music fest was launched in 1997? Uh-oh. Blue, your turn. It's a six. Three choices. What will it be? Science and nature. Another shot at the wedge. What fruit did Australia's Paradise Wines Limited receive a $33,000 government grant to develop into a table wine? Uh-oh, that's not it. Okay, Pink, you're up. That's a one. What's it gonna be? So, for sports and leisure. What sporting event did Sports Illustrated sum up in 2002 as billionaires behaving badly? Sorry, no. Brown, you're next. And you got five. Okay, now, which one do you want? History. What Britain was obliged to publicly deny sending letters to Princess Diana that called her a harlot and a trollop? Oh, no, sorry. Take it away, Green. It's a two. Pick a space. Science and nature. What mammal, once thought to be a single African species, was shown by DNA analysis to be three distinct subspecies in 2002?
Good try, but incorrect. Yellow, it's your turn. One. Pick either one. Another try. And you got five. What's it going to be? So, for sports and leisure, for the wedge. What race presents the last competitor to cross the finish line with its famed Red Lantern Award? You got the green wedge. You're still up. It's one. Three choices. What will it be? Wild card. What was the first professional sport to have its league star players depicted as recognizable Lego figures? Ouch, no. Next, Orange. Looks like a six. Pick a space. For wild card. What color did Bowser mint flogs itself as curiously strong? That's right. Orange, you're still up. Okay, two. You need to pick a space. For wild card. What infraction led a Florida judge to issue an arrest warrant for O.J. Simpson in 2002? No. Over to you, Blue. It's one. Which direction will it be? History. What Clinton confidant had worked with the House's chief counsel for Nixon's impeachment inquiry? Sorry, no. Your turn, Pink. That's one. Which direction will it be? Arts and entertainment. What was the first Disney animated movie to feature no human characters? Oh no, sorry. Brown, your turn. Four. Three choices. What will it be? So, for arts and entertainment, another shot at the wedge. What 1998 movie advertised its unique line? Hey, turn your butt off. Well done, the pink wedge. Brown, the board is still yours. And you got five. Okay, now, which one do you want? Roll again. There's a four. Three choices. What will it be? Another try. Four. Three choices. What will it be? Another try. All right. Five. Three choices. What will it be? People and places. What U.S. state is populated with the smallest percentage of folk who were actually born there? No. Your move, Green. Ride, too. Where are you going? 
science and nature. What body parts did walking stick insects gain and then lose four different times during their 300 million year evolution? Correct. This discovery flew in the face of evolutionary theory, which held that characteristics once lost by a species would never reappear. Roll again, still your turn. Six, up to you, say where. So, for arts and entertainment, for the wedge. What comic strip character has brothers named Andy, Olav, Marbles, Rover, and Spike? The pink is yours. You get another roll. Six, three choices. What will it be? Wild card. What songstress turned down George Lucas's proposal of marriage in the 1980s? That's right. Keep it going, Green. You're still up. There's a four. Three choices. What will it be? For people and places. What politically correct name did Wyoming's Grand Targhee Ski Resort come up with in 2003 for the peak once called Mary's Nipple? No. Ball's in your court, Yellow. Three. Three choices. What will it be? So, for arts and entertainment. What was the first film to give Robert De Niro a chance to belt out I Feel Pretty? Correct. Did you know that De Niro takes a stab at the whole score of West Side Story in his attempt to sing in order to get out of Sing Sing? Yikes. You talking to me? You talking to me? I've you get another roll, Yellow. And you got five. You have four options here. Choose one. Roll again. You got a three. Pick a space. For history. What colorful first lady had the Secret Service code name Rainbow? Oh no, sorry. Orange, you're up. Five, pick a space. for science and nature. What mammal was next to be cloned after a sheep and a mouse? Sorry. Blue, it's your move. One, you have a couple of choices here. For science and nature, and another shot at the wedge. What's evaluated according to the APGAR scale? That's right, I said APGAR. You've got your brown. Keep it going. And you got five. Which direction will it be? Roll again. 
three. Where are you going? Roll again. Three. Three choices. What will it be? Roll again. Five. Up to you. Say where. History. Who was the first woman to be elected minority leader of the U.S. House? Uh-oh. That's not it. Let's go, Pink. And you got five. Three choices. What will it be? for science and nature. What body parts did Japanese scientists remove from infant rats and graft onto adult rats' thighs in 2002, to the astonishment of ethicists? Uh-oh. Brown, your turn. Three, you have a couple of choices here. Sports and leisure. This is for the wedge again. What Aussie city hosts an annual sled dog classic with sleds equipped with wheels instead of runners? The green wedge, excellent. Keep it going, you're still up. Looks like a three to me. Three choices, what will it be? History. What computer was the target of the first self-replicating viruses that spread in the wild. Ouch, no. Your move, Green. It's a two. Pick either one. Roll again. And three. Which direction will it be? Roll again. Looks like a six. You have four options here. Choose one. History. What MSNBC host got an honorary degree from Holy Cross in 2002 to the chagrin of Worcester's bishop who opted to skip the commencement? Sorry. Yellow's next. One. Pick either one. For science and nature, wedge question. What critters were found to spread Lyme disease in 1977? The brown wedge, terrific. You get another roll, yellow. Six, three choices. What will it be? For wild card. What fashion company invited internet visitors in 1998 
to have email dialogues with models who turned out to be completely imaginary. Uh-oh. Orange, let's do it. Looks like a six. Decide which space will it be. Roll again. It's a two. You have a couple of choices here. Sports and leisure. Wedge question. What injury-prone National League ball team put 59 players on the payroll during the 2002 season? Ouch. Over to you, Blue. And you got five. You have four options here. Choose one. Roll again. That's a one. Pick a space. So, for arts and entertainment. What U.S. state declared March 11, 2003, Reuben Stoddard Day to honor the American Idol contestant two months before he won? Ouch, no. Pink, let's go. And you got five. You have four options here. Choose one. Science and nature. What holiday treat also describes a computer program's hidden surprise? Exactly. Keep going. You get another turn. Two. You need to pick a space. Wild card. Wedge question. What annually televised event sparks the highest one-day consumption of guacamole in the U.S.? Congratulations! Orange is yours! You still own the board! And you got five! Three choices! What will it be? People and places! What military unit conducts its annual Hell Week for trainees on California's Coronado Beach? Sorry, no. Brown, your turn. Looks like a four. Okay now, which one do you want? Or wild card. What rocker boasted after having his sweetie's lips tattooed on the only bare space left on his neck? The human canvas is about complete. No. Take it away, Green. That's one. You have a couple of choices here. For science and nature, for the wedge. What's represented by the W in an internet service provider dubbed a WISP? You've got your brown. Keep it going, Green. You're still up. Four. Three choices. What will it be? So, for sports and leisure. What nation saw its arcade gamers go gaga for bonga bonga, where players poke a realistic human bottom with a big plastic finger? Right you are. In the game, a human character. You still have control of the board. That's a one. Pick either one. Another try. Okay, two. You have a couple of choices here. For people and places. What's the only great lake that doesn't border the state of Michigan? Oh no, sorry. Yellow, it's your turn. Two it is. Three choices. What will it be?
or wildcard. Who were required to be buried at a crossroads with stakes to their hearts in 18th century Britain? Sorry, no. You're up next, Orange. You got a three. Three choices. What will it be? For people and places. What invention do Maine residents celebrate each December 21st on Chester Greenwood Day? Way to go. Farmington, Maine was once the earmuff capital of the world. Roll again, the board's still yours. Two, pick a space. Roll again. You got a three. Three choices, what will it be? Roll again. You got a five, what's it gonna be? For history. What southern state saw its legislature approve the 15th Amendment in 1997, giving African Americans the right to vote? Uh-oh. Over to you, Blue. That's one. Up to you. Say where. People and places. For the wedge one more time. What city tried to ease gridlock in 2003 by charging drivers an $8 congestion charge to enter its downtown area? Good try, but incorrect. Pink, let's go. Six, where are you going? For people and places. What Utah City's residents eat more jello than any other U.S. city? Uh-oh. Brown, you're up. That's a one. Pick either one. Roll again. Two it is. You have a couple of choices here. So, for sports and leisure, who received a record-breaking 15 perfect scores at the 1998 Figure Skating Nationals? Correct. Brown, the board is still yours. It's a two. Which direction will it be? Roll again. That's one. Pick either one. History. What occupied land took exception when Pabst Blue Ribbon erected a billboard celebrating its 50th anniversary of peaceful liberation in 2001? Ouch, no. Okay, yellow. Four, three choices. What will it be? Roll again. Six, up to you. Say where. Sports and leisure. What board game is a required part of a financial accounting course at Indiana University? Correct. You get another roll, Yellow. One, where are you going? For science and nature. How long would it take to reach the center of the Earth if you fell into a big hole with no air friction?
Good try, but incorrect. Ready to roll, Orange? Two it is. Which direction will it be? Roll again. All right, five. Decide which space will it be? Sports and leisure. This is for the wedge again. What psychedelic shooter did designer Tetsuya Misaguchi come up with while attending a rave? The green belongs to you. Orange, you're still up. That's a one. You need to pick a space. For wild card. What transforms a martini into a Gibson? No. Blue, it's your move. You got a three. Three choices. What will it be? History. What part of an armored knight's body was protected by his beaver? Sorry. Brown, you're up. And you got five. You have four options here. Choose one. People and places. What country do Brazil, Bolivia, and Argentina surround? Yes! The board is still yours. All right, five. Pick a space. For science and nature. What computer where never makes it off the drawing board? Way to go. Brown, the board is still yours. One, what's it gonna be? For history, this is for the last wedge. Who was the highest earning woman in Britain in 2000 and 2002? Coming in second to Madonna in 2001. The yellow wedge, way to go. And all you have to do now is land on the center hub. Get one more question right. And Brown, the board is still yours. You got four. Three choices. What will it be? Arts and entertainment. What Grammy winner calls famed sitarist Ravi Shankar daddy? You got it. Ravi Shankar became a household name in the 60s after giving lessons to Beatle George Harrison. Keep going. You get another turn. Two, pick a space. The hub and a chance for the win. Check out the leader's stats and pick their weakest category for the final question. Pick a category, Blue. And the category for the final question is science and nature. Okay, this question can win you the game. What cooking ingredient did scientists discover at the heart of the Milky Way in 1996?
Sorry, now you'll have to get out, then in again. Good luck. Yellow, it's your turn. Six, you need to pick a space. Arts and entertainment. What TV personality drew attention to the problem of canine anxiety disorders when she started giving Prozac to her poodle sugar pie? That's right. In 1999, the FDA licensed Clomacom, a meat flip. You get another roll, Yellow. Four, which direction will it be? Sports and leisure. What did a 2002 Golf Magazine survey determine to be the average 18-hole score of golfers who play 25 or more rounds per year? Sorry, Orange, you're up. Two it is. Okay now, which one do you want? Wild card. How much did a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader rake in per game in 2002? Ouch, you're up, Blue. It's a six. Pick a space. Roll again. Three. Three choices. What will it be? Roll again. Looks like a three to me. Three choices. What will it be? Roll again. It's a six. You need to pick a space. Science and nature. What vegetable did Antoine Parmentier introduce to France, despite scientists' claim that it was poisonous and clergy's rants that it was Protestant? Sorry, no. Brown, you're up. Three. Okay, now, which one do you want? Science and nature. What's the better known trade name for non-stick polytetrafluoroethylene? It was first developed for corrosion-proof atomic bomb gaskets. You don't want your atomic bomb gaskets corroding, believe me. <laughs> Do not want that. You got enough problems with those things. That's right. You're still up. That's one. What'll it be? Wild card. What potato product did Zygo of Rigby, Idaho fortify with energy additives and hype for morning consumption? Looks like a six. Three choices. What will it be? Roll again. You got four. Three choices. What will it be?
sports and leisure. Who could in a short-lived ad for Fox's best damn sports show, period? I want to eat your children. Absolutely. You get to roll again. All right, five. You need to pick a space. For people and places. What state's motto reads, manly deeds, womanly words in Latin? No. Orange, you're up. It's a two. What'll it be? Wild card. What body part do travel agents associate with the time period between peak and off-peak seasons? Sorry. You're up, Blue. Four it is. Three choices. What will it be? Roll again. Two it is. Which direction will it be? Arts and entertainment. Or the wedge. What cable channel hyped its sex and the swastika show with the line, the Nazis were ruthless, murderous, and highly perverted? The pink is yours. Blue, still your turn. You got a five. Three choices. What will it be? Roll again. One. Pick either one. Wild card. Who tied Bill Clinton? for 13th place on a 2003 Frank Lutz poll to determine the greatest Americans of all time. No. Brown, you're up. All right, five. Decide which space will it be. People and places. Who was the first sitting U.S. president to visit Northern Ireland? Uh-oh, that's not it. All right, yellow. Looks like a three to me. Which direction will it be? So, for sports and leisure. What movie title character was Rangers outfielder Kevin Minch nicknamed after? Because he wears the biggest cap size in the majors. That's right. According to the new air- Keep on rolling. There's a four. What's it gonna be? Arts and entertainment. What rapper was inspired to yap? Nana Boo, Goo Goo Ga, Hame Goo Goo Kaka, Dada Change Your Daddy. What? Did you catch that? No, you're up next, Orange. Six, you need to pick a space. 
for science and nature. What city had Dolly, the famous first cloned sheep, stuffed and put on permanent display? Right you are. The Museum of Scotland. Orange, you're still up. It's one. Decide which space will it be. History. What Age of Innocence star was pronounced guilty in November 2002? That's it. You still have control of the board. It's three. Up to you. Say where. Roll again. Looks like a six. What's it going to be? For wild card. Who posed with a box of Biggie Small's ashes for People magazine in 1997? No. Your turn, Pink. There's a four. Six spaces to choose from. Up to you. Sports and leisure. What shortstop took home an American League Gold Glove Award every year from 1993 to 2001? <laughs> oh, shit. Eh. Sorry. Blue, it's your move. Right, two. Three choices. What will it be? Wild card. What color is an airplane's black box? Sorry, no. Brown, you're next. It's three. Six spaces to choose from. Up to you. For wild card. What golfer spiced his woeful country music album with songs like Long Ball Rebel and All My Exes Wear Rolexes? Uh-oh. Ball's in your court, Yellow. And you got five. What'll it be? Roll again. Looks like a three to me. Three choices. What will it be? Another try. And three. Where are you going? Roll again. You got one. What's it going to be? Arts and entertainment. What Robert Redford movie was based on the life of Wyoming's Buck Brannaman? Uh-oh. Next, Orange. Four. Three choices. What will it be? Roll again. Three. What's it going to be? Roll again. Four it is. Three choices. What will it be? Roll again. One, you need to pick a space for wild card. How many feet of fruit come in a package of fruit by the foot? That's it. Roll again. Looks like a six. Three choices. What will it be? Roll again. Three, where are you going? 
Roll again. All right, five. Decide which space will it be. So, for arts and entertainment, for the wedge. What is the favorite food of Nick Park's animated duo, Wallace and Gromit? Well done, the pink wedge. Roll again. Four, where are you going? History. Whose remains were reburied in Cuba in 1997, 30 years after his death? Uh oh. Pink, let's go. Ride two. You have a couple of choices here. For people and places. Wedge time. What museum refurbished a Pittsburgh factory for its 1994 opening? Well done, the blue wedge. Keep it going. Fuck, I just guessed. It's a six. What's it gonna be? History. What malady was the March of Dimes created to fight in 1938? Way to go. You still have control of the board, Pink. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, gosh. two. Where are you going? Wild card. What New England city saw its fine arts museum guards dress up like famous artists while demonstrating for higher pay in 1999? Right you are. You still have control of the board, <laughs> You got a three. This is okay, a fucking now, hell which one do you want? One. Science and nature. This is for the oh. wedge again. What does a patch of blue skin above the beak of an American parakeet indicate? Uh oh. No, You're up, it. Blue. God damn it. That's what I thought. Whatever. It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. Looks like a three to me. <laughs> three choices. What will it be? Roll again. It's one. Pick either one. Wild card. Where on an all nudist cruise ships are passengers normally required to wear some clothing? Exactly. No shirt, no shoes, no pants, no service. Blue, still your turn. Two it is. Three choices. What will it be? For wild card. What grassroots movement did cash strap clothiers invent to make up for business loss to casual Friday? Oh no, sorry. Off you go, Green. Whoa, six. Where are you going? People and places. Another shot at the wedge. What U.S. city is host to the Museum of Bad Art? Oh, no, sorry. Brown, your turn. It's three. Pick a space. History. What state passed the first drunk driving laws in the U.S.?
Correct. Roll again, still your turn. You got a five. You need to pick a space. For people and places. What military leader joins Jefferson Davis and Robert E. Lee on Georgia's Stone Mountain Monument? Ouch, no. Your turn, Mella. You got one. You have a couple of choices here. Roll again. Looks like a four. Three choices. What will it be? Roll again. All right, five. Three choices. What will it be? So, for arts and entertainment, what pop star paid $41 million for the rights to nearly all the Beatles songs in 1984? Of course, he doesn't have any more money. That's it. You get another roll, Yellow. That's one. OK, now, which one do you want? Roll again. Six. Decide which space will it be. For history. What was the only method of execution available in Nebraska as of 2002? <laughs> Sorry, no. Next, Orange. Three. Pick either one. So, for sports and leisure. What crew member doesn't row in a rowing race? No. Okay, Pink, you're up. All right, five. Okay, now, which one do you want? Roll again. Two, where are you going? For people and places. What U.S. state claims the country's snowiest city? Ouch, you're up, Blue. Four, three choices. What will it be? So, for arts and entertainment. What rapper entered the world as Shad Gregory Moss? Good try, but incorrect. Brown, your turn. Five, pick a space. People and places. How many satongs in Thailand's currency make up one bot?
Exactly. Keep on rolling. You got a three. Six spaces to choose from. Up to you. Arts and entertainment. What city has been home to the Steinway Piano Making Factory for 150 years? Good try, but incorrect. All right, yellow. Looks like a four. What'll it be? Four wild card. Another shot at the wedge. What was the flavor of the cream filling in the original Hostess Twinkie? Congratulations, orange is yours. You get another roll, yellow. Four it is. Okay now, which one do you want? For people and places. What Oscar winning actor owns the Tahitian island of Tatiaroa? Absolutely. You get another roll, yellow. Six. Where are you going? So, for sports and leisure. Who debuted a line of housewares exclusively at Kmart in 1997? No. You're up next, orange. Three. Pick a space. People and places. What nation established the Sok Tung Wildlife Sanctuary to protect the habitat of the Yeti? Ouch, no. Your next pick. That's one. Three choices. What will it be? Arts and entertainment. What former Saturday Night Live cast member has headlined in 22 movies featuring other cast members? Yes! You're still up. Two, decide which space will it be. Arts and entertainment. What actor titled his autobiography, How I Lost Five Pounds in Six Years? That's right. You still have control of the board, Pink. Six, what'll it be? Or wild card. This is for the wedge again. What future West Wing star saw hopes of becoming an Olympic figure skater dashed after crashing through a plate glass door? Congratulations, orange is yours. You're still up. Five, three choices, what will it be? Roll again. It's one. You need to pick a space. For science and nature. What Steven Spielberg thriller featured attacks by Carcharodon carcarius?
correct. The great white shark. You still have control of the board, Pink. One, pick a space. For history. For the wedge one more time. Who in the Roman Catholic Church hierarchy are authorized to don violet skull caps? You now own a yellow. You still have control of the board. Looks like a six. Three choices. What will it be? People and places. How many out of every 10 U.S. residents believe in the devil, according to a 2003 Gallup poll? No. Blue, it's your move. Four. Pick a space. Arts and entertainment. What do flamenco guitarist Tomate's saucy teen daughters call their vocal trio? Paste? Uh-oh, that's not it. Over to you, Brown. Six, you need to pick a space. Roll again. There's a four. What'll it be? Another try. Six, you have four options here. Choose one. Arts and entertainment. What character in Star Trek The Next Generation was saddled with Gene Roddenberry's middle name as a first name? Nicely done. You get to roll again. And you got five. Okay, now, which one do you want? For science and nature. What creature produces saliva that gives scientists their most effective clot-busting protein? Yes! That plasmogen activator dissolves clots twice as fast as the leading anticoagulant without increasing the risk of internal bleeding. I know, it sounds like fun, and it is. You get to roll again. Five, pick a space. Roll again. Four it is. Three choices, what will it be? Roll again. Two, pick a space. Arts and entertainment. What TV personality devoted a decade of her life to playing Haley Santos on All My Children? You got it. Nominated for three Emmys for her daytime soap role, Kelly later landed the plum gig as Regis Philbin's morning sidekick on The Regis and Kelly Show on ABC. Who knew? Round the board is still yours. Two, you need to pick a space. Another try. You got a three. What's it gonna be? Roll again. Looks like a six. You have four options here. Choose one. Science and nature. 
What disease deemed manageable by industrial nations continues to kill tens of thousands every year since it spread from Asia to Africa in 1961? Correct. Warm ocean currents are thought to encourage the growth of copepods, microscopic hosts of the cholera bacterium, so when the oceans bloom, cholera threatens. Now, you know, there are more copepods than there are insects. Brown, the board is still yours. And you got five. You can go to seven different spaces. Pick one. Science and nature. What term do doctors use to describe the crackly sound of lungs filled with fluid? Good try, but incorrect. Yellow's next. And three. You need to pick a space. People and places. What processed food is celebrated annually in Austin, Texas? Nicely done. It's the Spamarama. You still own the board. Two it is. Three choices. What will it be? People and places. Who was the first U.S. president to win a Pulitzer Prize? That's right. He won for Profiles in Courage. You get another roll, Yellow. Four. Three choices. What will it be? Roll again. Okay, two. Pick either one. Science and nature. What lake did the Sierra Club propose draining in 1996? That's it. A dam across the spectacular. Roll again. The board's still yours. Looks like a four. You need to pick a space. For people and places. What nation is home to the shrine of Iman Ali ibn Abi Talib, deemed by Muslim Shiites to be the world's holiest site after Mecca and Medina? No. Ready to roll, Orange? One. You have a couple of choices here. Roll again. And you got five. Where are you going? for people and places. What U.S. locale is less well known as the tobacco state and the hemp state? Uh-oh, that's not it. You're next, Pink. And three. What's it gonna be? 
Roll again. Three. Three choices. What will it be? Roll again. Okay, two. You have a couple of choices here. Sports and leisure for the wedge. What was the first major league team to put Sammy Sosa in the lineup for a regular season game? Ouch, no. Blue, your turn. And you got five. Where are you going? Roll again. Looks like a three to me. Three choices. What will it be? Another try. Looks like a three to me. What's it going to be? Roll again. Two it is. You have a couple of choices here. Wild card. Wedge question. What founding mother was the first real woman to appear as a Pez dispenser head? Uh-oh, that's not it. Brown, you're next. Two, you have a couple of choices here. People and places. What British-grown crop did farmers start labeling British sprouts in an appeal to patriotic locals? That's right. Brussels sprouts originated in the Middle East, so Beirut sprouts is probably more fitting. Brown, the board is still yours. It's one. You have a couple of choices here. Wild card. Who was said to have made the footprint-shaped puddle atop Thailand's Hadsai waterfall? Correct. Thousands of pilgrims throng to the site to experience the holy water and touch the poor frog that lives there, thought to be its ground. The board is still yours. Six, you can go to seven different spaces. Pick one. For science and nature. What greenhouse gas falls as freezing rain on Saturn's giant moon Titan? That's it. On the one hand, Titan has an atmosphere. On the other, it's... Brown, the board is still yours. And you got five. You can go to seven different spaces. Pick one. 
for science and nature. Whatever present omnivore did National Geographic dub the amphibian that ate Arizona? Nicely done. The bullfrog happily eats bird. Roll again. Three, pick a space. Center hub and a chance at the win. Time to pick the final category. Pick a category, Blue. And the category for the final question is arts and entertainment. Okay, this question can win you the game. What line from his 1986 sex farce, She's Gotta Have It, was Spike Lee's odd choice for the title of his 2002 children's book? That's it. Congratulations, you're our winner.